So I got a different email this time. It said unacceptable business practices policy. Um, and so when we originally launched the videos, and this actually goes back to like a month ago or two months ago when we launched some different videos, we didn't put the age 18. So a bunch of the ads got rejected because there was a flask in them. And uh, so we changed everything to 21 and they all got approved. But um, I submitted the review because um, I said there was nothing wrong with it, copy and paste what you said to type. And then they sent a, um, an answer back, obviously automated saying like, you know, we reviewed it and because of past rejections, we can't re-enable re it. Um, so I just submitted it again. So I don't know what else to do. Yeah, that's really all you can do in this case uh, is just get a second review. Uh, do you have an account wrap? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, do you have a chat box for Facebook? Uh, yeah. Have you reached out there? Yeah, I did. I just said we're not able to communicate this time. Yeah, they're they're not really allowed to do anything there, but it's always you know worth a shot just to see. You know, always trying to try a little bit of everything if you can. But yeah, I mean, those really are the main things you can all you can do. It, if they don't approve the ad account this go around and it stays disabled you might just have to relaunch a new ad account and just make sure you double check before you post anything that all is good to go on the policy okay you think it'll be slower because the election or you think it should be reviewed with it because it's now it's been 24 hours since the um once they since they reviewed it for the second time and they said no and i haven't heard anything over 24 hours now um, well, if they don't get back within 48 hours or they don't get back within the week, then yeah, I mean, you should definitely launch a new ad account. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and when we were running it, we just weren't getting any traction on anything really. So, um, you go to last week, it's $48 a purchase. Yeah. But, uh, if you filtered by retargeting and the ones that did, if you just filtered by the ones that did get purchases, I bet your costs would drop a lot lower um so you really didn't get to optimize much like these look really good here these numbers so like that tells me that you could get in that range for sure with the uh the videos though they weren't they weren't like nothing was sticking you know it was just so it was like obviously with the candle guy we had that one audience the candle audience that did well so we kept scaling it this there was just random audiences yeah, that that's kept... how videos are they don't stick very well so if this if this comes back on tomorrow, then what do I do? Uh, well, the videos are going to build up the engagement for sure and get a lot of people to go to the thing. But that's why you see your retargeting was so um, inexpensive. So like that's going to be a big winner here. It's like your retargeting is going to play like a key role. You can't put, you can't put more money into the retargeting unless you're spending more on the cold audiences. Or is that wrong? So that's you can spend more on retargeting than your cold but yeah certainly you want to make sure retargeting audiences are getting filled up and the reason you'd be able to spend potentially more money on retargeting is because you would be able to build more audiences based off the video views engagements and stuff like that but like with image ads you're completely relying on people clicking and making it to the site and building retargeting off of that but with the videos you have a lot more audience size so yeah you in theory you could spend more on retargeting Okay, gotcha. And would you even suggest them scaling up on these different of course, audiences? Because you'll need to in order to get a big enough size for sure. The problem is that, like I said, it's just random purchases in each one. So how do you even know which one to scale up? Um, well, you don't. You got to find one that's going to get better results first. And would you? It only ran for a few days, right? I mean, like I think you need a little bit more time to run them, but yeah. And would you suggest um, would you suggest to keep creating new uh, targeting? For sure, uh, I'll find out what works. And I just don't know if I'm targeting New Jersey. That's only New Jersey. That's that's wrong. Should I be targeting the entire United States? Uh, rank it by results real quick, and then scroll all the way to the top. So yes. Yeah, so so the Sopranos is getting, what is that, 
cost 29 and that's yeah. us mm -hmm. so like that's i mean yeah you should probably be doing us with results like that okay okay and um all right so i guess i'll just wait and see i guess you would suggest to kind of go onto other platforms other than just facebook correct uh, what do you mean like youtube ads just so we don't have all our eggs and this and then this happens and you're kind of screwed oh yeah i mean certainly yeah i mean you could okay